How are we doing? How are we doing? Uh, today, it's hump day. Um, I don't know whoever came up with that term, um, hump day, but um, I, we're getting over the hump, uh, and uh, and that's that could be a good thing. That could be a uh, a challenge, you know, like a, driving over a hill, something like that. Uh, welcome to Art Talk. Uh, let's see who's going to be the first one in this morning. We're a little bit early. We're a little bit early, but the announcement has gone out that we're doing things live. Of course, Jerry Crocker shows up uh, once again, the first man in. Uh, Jerry, you get the uh, uh, the joy for the day. Hey, Ron Stansberry. Ron, how are you, buddy? Good to see you on today's Art Talk. Very cool. Uh, I was very happy to hear your uh, retirement is going well. Uh, some people mentioned to me that when they retire, they, they try to figure out how they ever had time to do normal things because retirement takes up so much time of doing fun stuff. Uh, Chuck, Sh Chuck Shawwecker, thanks for joining me, Chuck. Always good to see you, buddy. Always good. Have you sold your car yet? Don't know. Uh, Happy New Year, says Ron. Um, uh, it's March, three, three, three months into New Year. So far, so good. Things are, are, are good so far. Uh, we're doing Art Talk. This is episode 11. Episode 11. Uh, our goal here on Art Talk, as you know, Dan Woods is watching from Chop, Cut, Rebuild. Dan Woods, Canadian man uh, in Canada. Let me know where you guys are. Dan, I know that you're in Canada, just on the other side of the border. There won't be any walls built up there, buddy, because uh, that's too cool. Uh, Liz, good morning, Liz, and uh, our talk is about to begin. We got a great subject for today. Lots of neat stuff going on. Uh, I don't know if you guys got a chance to watch last night. Uh, Dave Joseph, good morning. Uh, last night, I did a radio broadcast with Randy Cardoon and Bob Beck on Got Gas. Um, we had a little, little gas, you know. I, I went to Bob's Big Boy, had a little, you know when I went into the radio show, but it was good. It was a good show. We posted it on Facebook, so check out that. Uh, it's not live anymore, but it was live last night. Uh, we had a great time, and those guys are amazing. Uh, they will be down at the Classic Auto Show this weekend in the OC Fairgrounds. Uh, they're gonna be doing their radio show from down there. I will be down there on Saturday, so come and hang out with us. Uh, it's gonna be an amazing show. Why is my hair doing that? I don't know. It's like a little whew, right there, yeah can't control those things. Uh, Rick White is watching. Uh, good morning, Rick. Rick is the, the man when it comes to the Santa Barbara Woody Club. Super cool. Lots of neat stuff going on with those guys too. Okay, so uh, let's kind of slowly get started. Uh, Ivan, good morning. Um, uh, today, uh, as you know, I'm Fireball and this is Art Talk at 8. Sometimes Art Talk at 7.57. I'm just keeping you guys on your toes. Not sure if you're uh, uh, ready to go. Sometimes I want to start a little bit early. But our talk is specifically geared to help you guys as creative beings, as, uh, as a creative uh, homo sapien. Uh, our job is to create things on Earth, create fun stuff, fun shit, as they say. Uh, you know, get out there today and you could create a, a hamburger. You could create a, uh, a piece of art. You could create a a possibility of going and taking your grandkids to the movies. There's all kinds of things that we do. Yes, early is good, says Rick. You bet. Cheryl Crow, thanks for joining us. Let me know where you guys are. Cheryl, where are you uh, in from? I know where Rick is from, uh, where Ron Stansberry is. I can adjust my chair. It's doing something really weird. Francesco Falcone. Did I say that right? That's a really cool Italian name. Sounds really good. Francesco. Doesn't that sound good? Don't you just want to like, like have that for dinner? You know, it sounds it sounds amazing. Uh, not like Fireball. That's not something that you you would eat. I don't think. I don't think candy. I don't know. Anyway, uh, our job here on Art Talk is to help you guys live your best creative self. Is how do you go about being creative in today's world with all this gobbledygook, all this nonsense in your way, all this stuff that's happening surrounding us, like spinning around your head? How can you stay focused? And I'm glad you asked because that's that's kind of the subject. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we are doing this live. And uh, as a reminder, uh, it being live, you can ask me questions, you can make comments, you can ask each other questions, like we're all having coffee together. Hold on. I always like making that slurpy noise. I got my own mug from Brad in Canada, Tim's. Uh, 
and and as as we're live, uh, like I said, you know, interact, ask questions. If you're curious about how things are going, if a, a show is com coming up and you want to let people know, this is not a forum for, for for people to advertise their products necessarily. But if you have a radio show, if you're if you're giving something cool to these people, post it. Uh, you got a re good resource for wheels. You got a good something that's that that came about this week or earlier today or yesterday. That you, something that you think is cool that you want to share. Go ahead and share it by all means. Okay, um, classic auto show. I mentioned that that this this weekend. There's two events happening this weekend. Saturday is the classic auto show in the uh, in the OC Fairgrounds. It's also on Sunday. I'll be down there on Saturday. We'll be vlogging. We're gonna be vlogging from that uh, that point. Uh, good morning, Cindy. Uh, good morning. Yeah, it's going to be a cool day. So cool. Love Wednesdays. Uh, Classic Auto Show. Uh, it, it's going to be so fun. Um, uh, pretty much everybody we know is going to be down there hanging out, looking at cool cars. It's going to be a spectacular day. And um, it's just fun to hang out with friends and check out cool cars. But on Sunday is Malibu Wheels and Waves. So if you live in the northern area like Ventura, Oxnard, and you're going to go down south to the Classic Auto Show, stop by our show from 7 to 9 in the morning. Free coffee. Wakes you up. Free Hot Wheels, in case your car breaks down, you can take the Hot Wheels to the show. See, always thinking, always trying to be creative. Okay, um, what else do we have? Uh, let's see, uh, gas went up last night. Uh, you can check that out on Facebook, the Gas Radio Show with Bob Beck and Randy Cardoon. Uh, I have an article in Hidden Hills coming out. Uh, anxious to see you guys, the, you guys to become aware of that. Will you go live at the show? Um, will I go live at the show? Uh, ask Liz. I probably will. Most likely I will go live at the show because that's always fun because you really can screw things up and it always makes for great entertaining content to show you guys exactly what's happening um, and uh, I might trip over myself. I might meet somebody. I might see something. I think we went live with uh, uh, my buddy Gene, with Gene Winfield uh, uh, at the, uh, the Grand National Show. That was always fun. So uh, I will try to do that. I'll vlog and do some live stuff. Um, I just put a deal together with LA Parent Magazine. So I'm going to have an, a, a running article with them. We're going to be doing an article that focuses on fun things to do with your kids or grandkids, automotive speaking, in, in LA. So we're going to be doing that. That's going to be pretty fun. LA Parent has a 75,000 distribution. So that's that's a really cool thing. You guys, are, I'm sure you're aware of that magazine. Okay, so let's get into... Oh, sorry. One other thing. Uh, JDRF. Uh, JDRF track days. I know this is backwards. So uh, you can try to read read it backwards. If it's uh, JDRFTrackDay.com. This is an event. I'll be taking uh, Tony Dow to this event. And we're going to be driving exotic cars. And we're going to be vlogging. Um, Liz says, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. You guys are talking so fast here. This is cool. Uh, car show season doesn't start for a couple of more months up here in the Northwest. Yeah, I can imagine. It's probably pretty cold. Hello from Minden, Nevada, says Cindy. Good morning, Nevada, Ponderosa country. Lots of trees. Awesome. Uh, you can go up there and you can actually breathe. Not like LA where, you know, you got to be selective about your breathing patterns. Okay. Uh, anyway, JDRF, check them out. Uh, check out their website. It's going to be a fantastic day. Uh, we are going to go. I'm going to be taking Tony Dow for his birthday, which is April 13th. My birthday is April 3rd, and we're going to be we're going to be driving exotic cars. We're going to be blogging. Uh, Douglas Sorrell says, "Top of the morning, and the rest of the day be yours." Thank you very much, Douglas. Okay, let's move on. Uh, today's subject for our talk. Today's subject is how do we stay focused? How do we stay focused in a sea of advertising insanity? The nut the nuts that goes on, the absolute insanity that goes on in this world, wherever you go, you're getting advertised to in some capacity, right? Probably even doing a little bit here on the vlog. But the point is, you know, how do you stay focused? And that that can be a challenge sometimes. Uh, coffee helps, right? Here's the thing about, about focus is that and I, I think I mentioned a little bit of this when we talked yesterday in, in t yesterday's art talk, is that that we generally look out with our eyes and we see something and we react to it and we don't realize that that reaction is a choice. And when you go from ignorance to awareness, uh, awareness simply means that you need to stop, put on the brakes for a second and ask yourself one question. And that question is, what do I want? What do I want out of this situation? So when someone yells at you or flips you the bird when you're driving or something like that happens, if you can, instead of react, if you can say, what do I want? No. What do I want? Then you're naturally going to give yourself an answer that is in your best interest. And, in your, and, and what doesn't fall into your best interest is to reflip. 
Reflip the bird. Reflip it. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't scream. Don't do all the things that you know are going to get you into trouble because you know how it works. I pull out a toothpick. You pull out a Q-tip. I pull out a, a knife. You pull out a gun. I pull out a nuclear bomb. It's, you know, and, it, and suddenly, boom, that's, that's kind of how it works. And you can see that. That happens every single day uh, with people is, uh, you know, you're driving along and a biker yells at you. Uh, you got to learn to let it go. And that's what comes with wisdom. You don't, it doesn't come with age. It, you know, you think that there, you got to be wise to be old. It's actually not true. Is that you can be very young and very wise. And you can be very old and very ignorant a-hole status. And we, we don't want you guys to, to experience that. We want to improve your life creatively. And to improve your, your life creatively simply means that you have to make better choices for your life. And to stay focused, it means that you have to make a choice that you want to stay focused in the direction that you're going and to put more love into the world and to do a lot of good things but and not get distracted by those that insanity of advertising that's going on. And someone's advertising that they're an a-hole. You know, they need a billboard. It says, I'm an a-hole today. That's what they're wearing on their back. So you got you to gotta avoid those things. Okay, so I'm going to give you some creative techniques, some, some techniques that can allow you to develop that muscle because that's really what it is. It's a muscle. Uh, nitrous jelly is watching. Very cool. Nitrous jelly. That's, wow. I'm not even sure if I can get a visual on that. That's just really fast jelly. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, um, so some techniques for, for uh, improving your focus is that when you think about what you love, uh, and I usually have a shirt that says, do what you love, love what you do. Today, it just says aloha backwards. Ahola. No, aloha. Uh, passion is key. Passion is key when, when you want to focus because it's easier to focus on things that you love to do than it is to focus on mediocre things. Um, and it's hard to get away from the negative aspects that exist in your life or how you perceive something to be negative, like maybe bills or uh, that certain person in your life. Um, if, if you can focus your attention on what you enjoy, um, you know, I enjoy cleaning up. That's something that I enjoy. I enjoy raking. I enjoy uh, watering, uh, gardening. I enjoy drawing. There's lots of things that I enjoy. So I have a plethora of choices that I can make on a daily basis when I first wake up in the morning. And doing this is a choice. Uh, and what I like about Art Talk for myself personally is that it's not necessarily about me and what it is that I'm doing. Uh, it's about how we can help to improve you guys. So that's that's something that, that allows me to not think about what's going on with me at the moment. It's something that allows me to be able to, to say, hey, we can do this and we can do this together and you guys can improve. So passion is key, but there are there are three things that I want you guys to think about. And um, the, the problem with these three things is that they've been given kind of a bad rap. And they've been given a bad rap because they are misunderstood. And if you can understand from a scientific aspect how they work and, and why they work, then you can implement them from a different vantage point. So you can look at them differently. And I want you guys to see them for what they truly are. And the first thing is the power of visualization, uh, the power of your, your mind to see clearly. Now, the real power behind visualization is that we, we have two ways of looking at things. We can see with our eyes or we can see with our mind. So you can close your eyes and you can think about a red apple, you can think about a purple elephant, you can think about anything that you want. But when you close your eyes and you think and you visualize what you're doing is that you're, you're creating a vibration in your body. Your body is energy and it's moving at a certain vibration and you can feel sometimes that vibration can heighten because there's exciting things happening or there's, there's something scary going on. You actually feel a physical change that's happening in your body. And that's the vibration changing. That's all those molecules going, oh crap, something's happening. I don't know what's going on, right? And you can kind of feel that. You can also feel that when you get depressed and get down, uh, the vibration changes and your body starts to reflect the vibration. And when you get depressed, obviously your head goes down, your shoulders slump, all kinds of physical things, physical changes start to happen in your body. So we want to be able to control that. Then you have to control what you think about. And you can consciously think about things that get you excited. And you can think about things that you love. You can think about your little doggy or your cat or your, or your pet lizard or your pet pig, whatever it is that you have. Something that puts a, a smile on your face and keeps you going. Okay, so when you visualize and you change your vibration, that's kind of what's happening. But here's the key. Here's the thing about that. Here's the power of, of visualization is that you're, 
you're sending that vibration out. You're not only vibrating yourself, but that's what you're emanating. And we talked about us being as radio stations, is that we send out signals, right? And the, the neat thing about sending out signals is that they go out and they merge with other signals and that's what you bring back to you. So that's kind of the scientific aspect of it. That's what's happening with your molecules and with your with your the 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 power that exists within your body, that that battery that exists. It goes out, it connects with other things and it comes back. And the reason why that's important is that if you visualize all kinds of crappy things, then you're going to get crap back. And who wants crap? Because we got plenty of that already right? So you got to move that crap out by thinking about something that's very powerful, something that, that you want as if it already occurs, you know? So if you can convince yourself or at least feel what it, what it, what it's like to do the thing that you want, maybe you're planning a trip to Switzerland or something like that. And you can think about Switzerland and you can think about the, all the chocolate you're going to eat and you can think about the cheese and you can think, about, sorry, I, I, I went to Switzerland and I basically ate a lot of cheese and a lot of chocolate. So that it was a good trip. It was a good trip. But I gained like 50 pounds or something like that. Uh, anyway, so focus on something that you love and let that go out and don't worry about how it comes to you because it's it's coming to you. It's coming to you. But it's like going to the gym. You can't do it once and expect your life to change. You have to build this as a habit. Okay, so visualization is one. Meditation is the second one. Now, meditation is something that's an Eastern term. Don't freak out over it if you've never meditated. Uh, meditation is simply the Eastern term for a Western idea, and a Western idea is concentration. So concentrate and focus on what it is that you want. But And, and when you meditate, you open yourself up to receive ideas, because as a radio station, we do receive ideas. We do receive things, and uh, we have to determine, is that good for us? Is that bad for us? What do we do with that? Uh, but generally, a lot of inspired ideas. Pretty much all my drawings. Here's a Porsche drawing I'm working on today for the Porsche book. It's kind of hard to see it, but that's the Porsche drawing. Okay, That was an inspired idea. I saw that in my mind before I started drawing it. I, I knew that there was something like that that was happening, and it's my job as a creative person to put that down on paper and then ultimately put that in a book for you guys to be able to color, right? That's kind of how it works. So you have to ask yourself how you're doing that. So meditation, spend five minutes. You close your eyes, you find a quiet place. Don't use your hands, don't use your eyes, don't use your ears. Shut everything off, get quiet, find a place that you can sit. And it doesn't matter how you sit, you know, it, it, you know it, putting your hands like this or hands up. It, none of that matters. That's all physical. Only thing that matters is what's going on in here. And if you do something with your body that is pulling your attention, like if I'm holding my fingers like this and my attention is going to the fact that I'm trying to hold my fingers like this, then my mind is not going where I want it to go, right? So does that make sense? All right, so I want you guys, you want to relax your body in every way that you can so that you're not thinking about your body. You want to close your eyes so that you're not thinking about what you see. And you want to close off your ears, cut yourself in a quiet place so you are not distracted from the sounds and noise. And that allows you to be able to go deep, to meditate, and to focus on what it is that you want. So visualization, meditation, very important. Uh, the third one is affirmations. Now, I do these three things for about five minutes a day. Okay, so I do it for about 15 minutes. I spend the time. Now, you can tell me that you don't have enough time to do that, and that's what's technically known as bullshit. You have time to do that. And I'm going to call you out because anybody who says, I don't have time to do something is simply choosing not to do it. Right? You guys know this. You know, it's like, oh, I don't have time to do this kind of thing or this kind of thing. It's like, well, you do. You're just not choosing to do that kind of thing. And I understand that. And that's a choice. And that's okay. You can have that choice to not do it. But I'm telling you that there's a tremendous benefit to spending at least five minutes on each one of these things a day because if you can win the morning, you can win the day, right? So if you did this three times a day, holy cow. But if you did, at least did it in the morning when you first got up with your cup of coffee, relax, have a good morning, set your intentions for the day, get excited for the day, feel that vibration, day's done, day's done. You're gonna have a spectacular day. That's what I do and I have freaking cool days. I'm going to the Murphy Museum today and I'm putting up signs and I'm, I'm doing all kinds of cool shit today. And I can't, I can't wait. I'm excited to do that. I'm going to go drive exotic cars. I'm going to do all kinds of cool stuff, right? Those are choices. Now, I didn't always get an opportunity to do things like this. This is something that they came to us and they said, hey, you want to do this? I, I, this came because of what I'm putting out there with the vlog, with you guys, things like that uh, as best I can. Okay, so uh, affirmations. We talked about affirmations. Is it, it repeating an affirmation in your mind uh, like I'm financially free or I'm healthy? Those... 
Those things are important to do. And the reason why, scientifically, why they're important is because you're training, you're retraining your mind. Is you're trying to, to, you're basically going to the mental gym, right? Through repetition, repetition, constant repetition, your mind is going to be retrained. The, the pathways in your neural network is going to start to reframe. So if you have, if you think about your mother-in-law and you th over here and it wraps around and goes over here and it thinks like major a-hole, mother-in-law, right? You have this loop going on in your mind, right? If you want to change that, then you need to shift the way you look at those things and affirmations are very important to do that. So we have visualization, close your eyes and visualize. Meditation is to be able to focus and to receive messages like inspired thoughts, things like that. Get an idea. That's how ideas come. Um, you're in a meditative state when you're taking a shower. That's one of my favorite places. If I, if I really need to come up with an idea for something, I go take a shower, you know, and I get clean at the same time, which is really a plus, right? Um, and then the affirmations, right? So you have this triptych, very, very powerful triptych. And if you can do that, start out, if you can't do five minutes on each one a day, do a minute, start out with a minute, you know, start out with 30 seconds, start out with one brick, right? You know, eventually you'll be building a whole wall. I don't know what's with all the wall references. It just kind of happens. Uh, Mike Schaefer's, uh, thanks for joining us. I hope I said that correctly. Uh, okay. So we're, we're, um, that's that's what I want you guys to focus on today. A uh, passion is key. Uh, I want you to to stay focused, and you can use these techniques to manage your focus. And when something happens today, try to remember that I don't have to get swooped into this nonsense. What is it that I want? Okay. What is it that I want? If you can get yourself to think that just once today, just once. If you see something with your eyes and it and it's about to piss you off, and you can say, Hold on. What do I want today? If you can do that once, then you're working it. You're working it. And you're going to become more powerful as the days go by. And suddenly, your dreams are going to start to appear. And you're going to start to live a cool life. Like like I do. I get to drive all kinds of cool cars. Uh, Jerry Crocker says, just did 20 minutes with Fireball. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's basically it um, for the talk today. I'm going to wrap this up. I showed you guys the Porsche book. We have the Porsche coloring book that's coming April 1st. I'm working on that. That's going to be sick. We also have the history of surfing. Kathy's working on that upstairs, and that will come the following month. Um, what do we have here? Uh, the books are available at the Peterson Museum. If you've gone there, they're available at the National Corvette Museum. Um, and uh, and I, I just want you guys to think about one last thing before I let you go. It's what I call G3. It's not a plane. Not a plane, G3, not a plane. But what it means is give the gift of gratitude, okay? So I want you to think about that today. Give the gift of gratitude is be grateful for the things that you have. So give that gift to yourself and find a way to give that to others today, okay? You want the answer? You want to know how to make more money? You want to know how to get healthier? You want to know how to solve any problem that there is? Give the gift of gratitude and boom, you'll be done, okay? That's how it works. Uh, Liz, thank you for the reminder. Love these motivational mornings. Boom. Uh, Rick says, Facebook, uh, I am serving others today. That Oh, fa Facebook or Fireball. I'm not sure. <laughs> very grateful. Thank you. Very grateful to you guys. Thank you for joining me today. As a reminder, this does go up on YouTube, so please share if you're getting something of value for this today. This is how we're growing. We need you guys. We need you guys to spread the word, help spread the word as we are. Uh, everybody needs this, right? Everybody needs this kind of boost in the morning. I know I do, um, and if you're getting anything out of it, then let's keep the ball rolling, okay? Uh, we'll see some of you guys at the, the Classic Auto Show on the weekend, but it's only Wednesday. That means Art Talk tomorrow. Oh, and do I have a good one for you? Okay, we'll see ya.